me attack, baby I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it no cap, only got one so you better go live it up, cash in the bag Stadium pack, baby I'm bad It's your girl Cece, aka Cecilia Robinson, aka Cece, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in with me today. Before we get started, I need you guys to like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell so you know when I'm coming on. Listen, please, 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 and I'm begging you, please, please share the videos. Guess what, you guys? I am back to dropping videos twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're going to do this. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I took the necessary leave I needed to take from YouTube, and I'm back. Back with more fire content, back with more energy, and yes, thank you. To my loyal subscribers who have always been there supporting me, tuning in, sharing my videos, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to the channel, please hit the playlist to start from the beginning and get the full effect of what's going on, and so you can know the whole story i no longer do lives on sundays but what i do do monday through thursday 7 p.m central standard time trill after dark over on trill talk media please 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 go over to trill talk media another youtube channel subscribe check out the content check out the topics me black and seven eight we have fire fire stories over there so please, please, please support, support, support. Now, I'm finna sit back and let y'all enjoy this video. Y'all be smooth. Listen. Y'all know y'all my people, right? So, I don't feel right if I don't tell y'all certain things. Um, I don't care if you hold this against me or not. But, um, y'all been taking this journey <laughs> with me for nine months, nine, ten months. Um, y'all know my ups, my downs, the good, the bad. And y'all know what type of person I am. Y'all know I'm spiteful. And y'all know I'm vindictive. Well, this situation ain't no different. Um, when I went downstairs to say goodbye to Shy, I gave her my hugs and all that other stuff. But before I went out the door, um, I dropped a slip. Yep, I dropped a slip. I wrote this slip from Molly to security. And what, the, what it said in the slip, it is what it is. It said that, you know, hi, I'm Molly. I'm Molly. And I'm requesting a campus separation between me and Mira. I want to leave this compound and go to where Mira can't go. Um, the statement said, you know, I'm scared for my life. I'm being extorted. I have to pay Mira, you know, or else she's going to attack me. I mean, I put so much BS up in this slip. Listen, it was no way in the hell them two was going to walk happy off into the sunset after doing that BS to me. It just is what it is. You don't get away with it. You know what I'm saying? And for Molly, bitch, bring that ass here. You know, come here. Let me holler at you. You know, I, I don't know why they thought they was going to live happily ever after. It don't work like that. I don't work like that. Have it go. Like I said, I had to go over to the building and, you know, they had to search me out and they gave me some breakfast and it's early. I'm not a morning person. I always tell y'all this. Maybe I did, maybe I did, but I'm not a morning person. Um, It was five other chicks that was going on this Cambridge spring trip. You know, they was being transferred to Cambridge. I don't know none of them. It just is what it is. And I don't know why with females, they think because y'all are getting on the same bus and y'all going to the same facility that you need to fucking talk to me. Don't talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you ain't brush your motherfucking teeth. You know what I'm saying? You got up early as shit to, to, to drink some coffee and to smoke a cigarette. And I don't know how y'all feel, but coffee and cigarette breath do not mix. Especially when you standing in my damn face. You don't have to talk to me, ma'am. You know what I'm saying? 
So it was this one chick. Um, she want to be super extra friendly at 5 a.m., you know, um, um, telling me about, you know, I can't wait till I get over there. You know, it's like a home away from all. Bitch, stop talking to me. You know, stop talking to me. I just have to do some devious stuff over here. Leave me alone, ma'am. You know, leave me alone. I don't I don't want to talk to you. And me getting, like, I'm, I'm, listen, when you're in prison and you getting ready to go home, they have something called short and shitty. You know what I'm saying? When your time is short, you have the shittiest attitude because you don't, you don't, you don't have time for nothing. And me standing in that little, the room, the holding room that they had us in, waiting to be cuffed up um, and shackled to these other inmates made me realize I don't have no more time in me to give these people. You know, I have gave them two and a half years of my life. Um, I could have been doing something else. You know, I could have been out on the streets. I, 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 I could have had a business. I could have been famous. I could have been doing something else with my time. Instead, I'm standing there next to a bitch with the breath that smell like the bottom of a shoe and ass. You know, I don't, I don't have it in me. I just didn't have it in me to do, you know. Um, and, and cussing this lady out, because my, my attitude really wasn't with her, even though I wanted her to shut up. My attitude was with myself, you know. What was I going to do to make sure I wasn't in this situation no more? You know, um, the, being honest with y'all, when I first got to prison, it was a part of me that still had some go in me. What I mean by some go... I still felt like shit. If I when I get out, I still can go and do this shit. Throw bricks at the penitentiary and get away with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna learn how to be a better criminal up in here so I don't get caught. I'm gonna do everything by myself. You know, so won't nobody tell on me. Like I still had go in me. That candle, that 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 fire was gone on that candle. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't got to go with me, god damn it. You know what I'm saying? I want to go be something. I want to make something of myself. I don't want to sit behind these fucking walls no more and deal with people I wouldn't deal with ever on the fucking street. It just is what it is. So, the ride, when we when we finally got on that bus, and this chatterbox, stinking breath, garbage can mouth bitch talked the whole fucking ride, I kept thinking to myself, when you get out, you got to do what you got to do so you can never be in this situation again. Remember how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Remember how you feel in this moment. Because you will never get this opportunity again. And I will never. I'm never going back to prison. It just is what it is. Um, the ride to Cambridge Springs was three hours. And when we got there, I had to pee like in one shit. You know what I'm saying? I really, really had to use the bathroom. But I could not get off the bus. You know what I'm saying? Um, and move freely because I'm a fucking prisoner. And they had us sitting at the gate for an additional two hours. And they didn't care that I had to pee. You know what I'm saying? Piss on yourself. They don't care. You know, so I'm sitting there and this chick is still talking. And you know she's demanding the guards to do stuff. And the guards telling her to shut up and all this. And I'm just thinking to myself, miss, remember this moment. Remember these moments. Remember these faces. You will never get a chance to see them again because you're not coming back here. It just is what it is. Um, another thing I realized was it was six other vans ahead of us. And all of those vans had different inmates on there coming from different facilities. And I'm realizing each one of those inmate heads on there, they get paid for this. These prisons get paid for these people. So they don't give a damn about locking us up. I do not want the state making money off of me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want them to be just a number and they could treat me like shit. <clears throat> Yet they're be, they're getting rich off of me. I don't want that. I just didn't want it. It was just so many things that, I mean, it's like sense. It was, sense was coming in my head. It was coming in my head, coming in my head. And I started to mature. I promise you. It's like I was just maturing and I could see a woman budding at those moments. It just is what it is. Finally, you know, um, they let us in the gate. And these guards with these guns, um, they walking around the van. They got a stick with a mirror on it. They putting it up under the van, um, looking, trying to make sure ain't nobody escaping or ain't nobody trying to break in. I don't know who who the fuck finna, you know, break into prison. It just is what it is. Motherfuckers try to break out, but I don't know who trying to break in. And I'm looking at this whole process. And once again, I'm going to say and I'm taking it all in because I am never going to be in that position again. It just is what it is. You know, um, they, they, they clear us 
and they tell us to drive around. They well, they tell the guards. They ain't tell us shit. You know, we inmates. They tell the guards to drive around a certain way and pull up in front of the building. And you know, that's when they gonna do our intake. And that's what the guards did. Um, they they pull up in front of this building and they get out and they finally open the door and let us out. And mind you, I still have to pee. <laughs> I'm talking about I have to pee. I ain't never had to pee this bad in my life. And I'm shaking my knees and everything. And I, I had to pee so bad, I didn't pay attention to where the fuck we was. You know what I'm saying? Um, I started to look around and a, a bitch felt like she was on O Block. Cause that's how this shit looked. Like, what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? Who projects? I baby, I look like I was in a motherfucking Stateway Gardens. This shit looked the buildings are tall. They lined up. I swear to God, these buildings look like some shit off State Street in Chicago. These was the fucking projects. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking. I could have sworn I seen a few air conditioners and some panties and shit hanging in the window. I mean, the shit looks super ghetto. It look, it look, it look ghetto. Ain't no way around it. The the pathway up to the buildings look like little gangways and shit. And I wanna fuck them as we at. You know what I mean? And I'm looking around, I'm looking around, and then I, I look down, and the first person face I look into is motherfucking Mariah. You know what I'm saying? She walking, and she walking with some other chick, and she looking at me. You know what I'm saying? She staring me down. So I'm looking at her, and she staring me down. And I'm looking at her, and the bitch looking at me so hard, she not even paying attention to the bitch who she walking with. You know what I'm saying? So I guess old girl gets tired of her fucking looking at me and slap her a little bit in her fucking face. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, I'm talking to you. And she turned around and looked, and then that, that's what made me pay attention to this lady. This lady look like her motherfucking granddad. You know what I'm saying? She a short, look dark skin fucking dyke. You know what I'm saying? But kind of hunched over a little bit. And she walking. I don't know why the fuck her elbows was pointed out like this. You know, um, the bitch, her edge up was great in the motherfucker. And I'm looking. And when she when she when she popped her, I realized that's her bitch. You know what I'm saying? Listen, old girl was so fucking dark and, and crispy looking and crunchy looking. You ever seen a, a seen a piece of uh old uh, old ass dried up beef jerky? You know what I'm saying? That's what the fuck she look like, a piece of fucking dried up beef jerky. And I'm looking at that shit, you know? I'm looking at the shit so hard, I didn't, ever, didn't hear the guard say, turn around. You know what I'm saying? So you can go in the building. I turn around to go up in the building. Second person I put lay eyes on is Pop. You know what I'm saying? Um, Up in this room where they had us at was a fucking intake building. And I see Pop pushing um um property and she landed it up against the wall. So they had us cuffed at the wrist, wrist. So the COs are uncuffed, where well, the guards are uncuffing us and shit and telling us to go find our name on the property us up against the wall and, you know, stand by it. <clears throat> so another guard is like, you know, once once we call your name, bring your property up to us so we can search it. Now, mind you, they ain't even searched the shit and they ain't had the shit since the day before. Um, So they call my name. I get my stuff, take it up there to them. They're going through my stuff, you know what I'm saying, and making a note of everything that I have. Once they give me my stuff, um, Pop tell me, she said, come on, I'm going to take you to your unit. You know what I'm saying? They had gave me my sheet of paper, what unit I was going to, you know, they and they give me my handbook so I can read it, so I can know the rules of the prison. Um, they dismiss me, I go over to the unit. So I tell her, I say, bitch, I just see, you know, I just see Mariah. She say, she was with that old ass lady. I say, yeah. I say, what's wrong with her? She say, we trying to figure it out. Y'all got to remember, Mariah is young. You know what I'm saying? That was my first bitch when I was in jail. Have it go. Um, I said, well, what unit is she on? Because the path she was walking down is the path I'm walking up now. She said she on your unit. She just on the, the second floor. I was on D3. I say, damn. I was like, well, who my celly? She was like, oh. She was like, you got squad. That's your cellies. I was like, who is squad? She was like, everybody from Muncie. That's your cellies. It was a lot of people over there at Cambridge from Muncie. So I get upstairs and I start looking. Check this out. There was no motherfucking doors. I don't think y'all understand. These units was rooms. They were rooms like four man cubes. One no toilets in them. It was a big ass bathroom with showers and shit in it. And it was multiple of those. I mean, the common room was big as shit. I'm talking about people walking in and out they cell. Like with cups going to get ice and shit. It was an ice machine. Bitch, do you know how long it's been since I had a motherfucking piece of ice? You know what I'm saying? I'm Listen, I'm impressed. A bitch, I'm impressed. God damn it, I've been deprived of every motherfucking thing. Cold. 
since, since, since I've been in prison. They had a motherfucking ice machine, damn it. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers getting buckets of ice and shit, walking in house shoes and shit. Listen, that shit was so close to home. I, I haven't seen no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to look. At Muncie, I had to have on full uniform every time I stepped out of my cell. You know what I'm saying? That mean I had to have on a sports bra so my titties wouldn't jiggle. I had to have on a t-shirt. And I had to have on a button up over top of that. These motherfuckers walking around in t-shirts tied up in the back. All type of shit. Scarfs and shit on their head. You know, speaking and, you know, checking me out and everything. And I'm telling Pop, like, bitch, y'all motherfuckers out here living. She said, girl, she said, just think of how much time we wasted that fucking Muncie. And I was mad at myself. You know what I'm saying? I deprived myself of that situation for the simple fact I stayed in Muncie because of Mira. Now look what it had got me. Goddamn, I could have been over here at the Boom Boom Room. This was the motherfucking Boom Boom Room. You know? So I was checking with the guard. The guard, you know, welcomed me. Guard was nice than the motherfucker. You know, welcome me and, you know, give me some supplies and shit that she's supposed to give me. And she tell Pop, you know, I'll take it from here. And she say she gonna walk me around to my cell. I say about the Pop, she say, bitch, come to yard. I say, I'll be there. You know what I'm saying? I want to go out and explore. The CL take me around to the cell. And when I get around there, I just start cracking up laughing. All the time. Check this out. All the time, my celly is crackhead ass Lily. Now, wait, 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 wait. I ain't never seen a motherfucking crackhead more fly than Lily. On the street, that bitch is a stump down cold crackhead. I mean crackhead. A crackhead. Crackhead. You know what I'm saying? But up in jail, that bitch is the coldest motherfucker you ever seen. You know what I'm saying? Lily is a dyke. Um, I I done mentioned her before. You probably don't remember. When Mira first went to the hole, I thought it was because of Lily. I thought she had got into it with Lily. You know what I'm saying? I told you she was into it with some other dykes. Well, Lily was one of them. Well, so she say. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Lily was cold in a motherfucker. Um, she looking like somebody handsome ass son. The bitch was taking them shots. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucking jawline looked like somebody had chiseled it on her. And she was rrr, rrr, rrr. Now, why, why, why I was there laughing so hard is because Vonnie was in the motherfucking cell. Vonnie was my folk. She was also pop best friend. I met Vonnie through Mira. And me and her was like this. Um, her and Lily up in that motherfucker. Boot up! <laughs> Fucking girlfriend was a drug dealer on the street. You know what I'm saying? A drug dealer. She was called in the motherfucker up in jail. Now she done went from the drug dealer to the crackhead bitch. <laughs> Look, tell me a bitch ain't got no variety. You know what I'm saying? Now there was another chick up in the fucking cell. I don't know her. She walk over to me. You know, everybody else saying what's up. She walk over to me. She assalam alaikum. I say well alaikum assalam. You know what I'm saying? She you know, I love you, sister. I said, okay. Now, so a lot of people who like to get in my comments and say, well, you can't be gay if you a Muslim. Shut the fuck up. I'm not gay. I'm bisexual, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And I'm bisexual and a Muslim. What are you going to do? Keep typing in my comment section? The fuck up. Have it go. You know, I'm like, okay, she one of them stone cold, you know, stone cold Muslim. Have it go. Motherfucker tell me, hey, man, bitch, put your shit down. Put your shit down. Take that shirt off and shit. We finna go to lunch. Now, check this out. I'm so used to COs and shit have to, have to walk us and escort us to lunch and shit at Muncie. Hell no. Motherfuckers just walking out they cell. You know what I'm saying? With t-shirts and shit on. Motherfuckers walking out they cell with t-shirts and shit on. You can't do shit like this. You know what I'm saying? So, when we leave from that back hall, it's already six of us. You know what I'm saying? By the time we get all the way downstairs, and we on the third floor, by the time we get to the first floor, it's about 18 of us. Ain't no way in the hell you finna walk like that through Muncie. Y'all ass getting rolled up. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers vibing, speaking to COs and shit. I'm talking about it's like we was on the fucking block. I'm telling you, I thought I was on motherfucking old block. I thought I was in Stateway. I felt like I was walking down a back lane. That's how I felt. Oh, we get to the motherfucking chow hall, and this shit look like a five-star restaurant. I'm impressed. You know, I'm used to the bullshit. We have to go through the line in a black spot with a motherfucking still on you and all. Well, none of that. You know, you walk in the building, and it's a line to go up the stairs and wind around and all type of shit. Listen, I felt good than a motherfucker to be in that position. I know you like, well, bitch, you're still in prison. Bitch, listen. This shit right here was the closest thing I had to freedom in years. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have nobody standing over me. 
I didn't have no bullshit happening. Well, no, the bullshit started happening. Have it go. We standing in this line. All of us, we talking and shit. So I see this chick named King. Now, King, I knew King from Muncie. And, you know, it was cool as shit. I used to speak. She was a little dyke and all this other shit. Last time I remember, she used to go with Pop. Have it go. I get ready to speak to King. So before I get ready to speak, Bonnie put my fucking hand on my mouth. Bitch, we don't talk to that bitch over here. And I'm, hold up. First of all, bitch, you don't put your sweaty ass hand on my motherfucking mouth. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't got to do that. You can just say, bitch, we ain't talking to that bitch. You don't got to put your motherfucking salty ass hand over my fucking face. You know, bitch, my face break out. My mouth break out, bitch. Don't touch my fucking lips. Um, so I'm like, what happened? She tell me, she said, man, she did some fuck shit to pop. I said, well, who was that birth ass girl with her? She said, man, that's her new bitch. This an old ass bitch. And you could tell on the street, this bitch was, listen, this bitch that had a hard ass life. She one of them bitches with her hands like she been punching brick walls and shit and all that. Lips dark and shit like she done smoked a thousand blunts. I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? So she's like, yeah, she's like, we don't fuck with them bitches. So when she said we don't fuck with them bitches, everybody behind us and everything gets to say they wanted to. You know what I'm saying? So King not saying nothing because it seemed like King don't want no motherfucking problem. But King, the black burnt bitch with the burnt hands and shit, she wanted all the smoke. So she get to snapping. You know what I'm saying? So motherfuckers th making threats back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Have it go to CO come over there and, and tell escort King and the bitch out told him to come back later. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing. And Muncie, they would have locked your ass up, put you in a hole. But they told this bitch to come back later. I mean, you come back to this restaurant later, you know what I'm saying? And this is a fucking prison. Have it go. We get up the fucking stairs, and they still talking about the situation. When I get up to, like, where the, the end of the um hallway is, it's motherfuckers that passing out utensils and shit. You know, they got on clean uniforms. They shit didn't look dirty like I was looked at Muncie. I'm sorry, the kitchen uniforms I was all white and shit. You know, hey, how you doing? Passing out fork knives and spoons. Do you know how long it's been since I had touched a motherfucking utensil? You know what I'm saying? And they give you a cup and a plate, you know, and you walk. And they put, they put in place your food all nice and neat on your tray and shit, you know? And I feel good. And I feel good and shit, you know? And they tell you you can go sit down. And when you go sit down, they you come around. They got somebody who come around with pitchers of ice water. You don't get that shit in Muncie. You don't get that shit in Muncie. Baby, I feel like I said, I felt like I was in a motherfucking five-star restaurant. I sat there and ate my food all bougie and shit. And the food was motherfucking good. It was good. I ain't had no food that motherfucking good in two and a half fucking years. Fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, God damn it. I ate all my shit. Have it go. When we leave up out of there, you know, everybody's talking about going to the yard and all this other stuff. And I'm just, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just enjoying myself. As I'm walking down the street, because it's a street you walk on. Um, As I'm walking down the street, I hear somebody like, Cece, you finally up here. So I look up. Guess who the fuck it is? Pocahontas, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm, bitch, what's up? I couldn't stand that bitch in the motherfucking county. You know what I'm saying? She got on my motherfucking nerve. But, bitch, what's up, bitch? Hey! You know what I'm saying? What's up? Hey! I'm smiling hard and shit, and I'm all, Joe. I'm friendly than the motherfucker. I get back to the unit. You know, they tell us to go in our cell uh, for count. And I'm just excited. I'm like a kid. You know what I'm saying? I'm anxious. I see them come around, do count, you know, just peek in there and all that other shit. Then I start seeing people, you know, um, 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 putting on their good shit. You know, they pull their pants from under the, the beds and shit so they can have crease in it. And they they got their shoes and shit all lined up against the wall. You know, they got they they ready for yard. And it's like they getting ready to go to a club and a party. I haven't had that experience in so long. I mean, I was enjoying it. It was like, a, it was a whole vibe. It was just a vibe. And I know I'm talking about this fucking prison like it's outside in the club and we getting ready to go to the party, but fuck y'all. I, goddamn it, I hadn't had that shit in two and a half years. It just is what it is. Um, have it go. We walking outside. Like I say, people got t-shirts and shorts. They got their tablets and shit. Got the earphones in. Motherfuckers jamming and, you know, dancing to the music. And everybody getting in line. And, you know, I'm the new face in the crowd. And I'm looking at everybody. And, you know, it's dykes. It's, it's, it's groups of dykes up there. And these motherfuckers are the real niggas. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers had the Sunnis. They had beards and mustaches and lineups and shit. Long ass dress and muscles and shit. And it's like, where that man come from? 
that's a man. That that's how I felt. And they walking up and down the line. They see Lily with us. They saying what's up, you know. And they checking me out and biting their lips and shit. And I'm like, okay, you know, it's been a long motherfucking time. See, I've been dealing with motherfucking circus animals and zoo animals and shit. You know, I had nothing remotely look close to this. You know, who is this fine, young, handsome specimen, Miss Ma'am, Madam Sir? That's how I felt. You know, that's how I felt. Motherfuckers, what's your name? I'm CC. You know. Yeah, I had baby hairs and my two braids. I'm CC, you know. I was I was ready. Fuck that, goddamn! I've been being mistreated at Muncie. I was ready to be treated. I, I was reinventing my motherfucking self. Fuck y'all. How'd it go? As I'm standing there in line waiting to uh to 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 get inside the yard, I see Mariah. She walks up to me. You know what I'm saying? So she by herself. She walk up to me. She light skin. How long you been here? I said, I just got here today. She, mm, she was like, I seen you eyeballing me. I say, shit, I said, you was looking at me. So I say, well, who was that dude you was with? <laughs> she, what? Um, who was that dude you was with? She, oh, that's my wife. I say, damn, I was like, she a little bit too old to be your wife. I was like, you couldn't do no better? She was like, what you mean I couldn't do no better? See, this is what I didn't realize. People get offended when you talk about their significant other. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you look down at that motherfucker. Mariah was 23 years old. Ain't no way in the hell she should have been with Gramps. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, man, she was like, I could have been, she said, I could have been doing better with you, but you did me wrong. She was like, at least I know she not going to do me wrong. I said, shit, at least I know too. Don't nobody else want her but you. You know what I'm saying? I guess that offended her. She got the fuck out of my face. I turn around, keep going to the fucking yard. You know what I'm saying? Inside the yard, I appreciated the scenery. It was big as shit. Like, it was a big ass yard. Um, They, they, I'm mean, talking about, it was humongous. That yard was a big as shit. They had a fucking, uh, a field house on there. You can go in and out of that bitch. They had a bathroom out there. Like, with you, water fountains and they had ice and shit. They had a canopy, like a picnic area with a canopy on it. They had birds and shit. I want to say it was some doves, but I'm lying. The motherfucking pigeons. Have it go. You know, I just... The, listen, the air was different. The sun was shining on me different. The breeze was different. And what I realized was it was a very dark cloud at Muncie. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn how many times the sun came out at Muncie. The sun never shined like this. You know? So I'm standing there and I'm just enjoying every fucking thing. And I'm looking at everybody talking. I'm looking at the different people. You know, taking me in. Like people are asking me questions. You know, like, is you CC the one, CC who beat up DP? And I'm like, yeah. What y'all don't know is your reputation travels to different prisons. So people in different prisons know about you because people travel to different prisons shit it is what it is you know gossip travels from prison to prison it just is what it is so i'm like yeah so motherfuckers like yeah good looking it was so many people who couldn't stand her good looking and all this other shit long story short i'm standing my ass there under this little canopy thing and i see mariah again she come marching up there to me and she got this fucking burnt ass piece of beef jerky next to her. You know what I'm saying? And these two bitches come walking up to me. Well, Mariah, she walking like a normal fucking girl with her little knock kneed ass. Um, but the bitch, Miss Ma'am, Madam Sir, this bitch marching up to me like motherfucking Mighty Mouse. And I don't know why the fuck she was walking with her elbows pointing out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what, did that make her walk faster? What, did that help her not need a cane? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? These two bitches come up in front of me and just stop. You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you, I'm five nine and a half. Both of these bitches, at best, are motherfucking five three. Being honest with you, you know, um, this the short little burn bitch gonna look me up and motherfucking down. So I look this bitch down. I just look at her down. What the fuck is up? You know what I'm saying? So she, I heard you, yeah, I heard you had something to say about me to my girl. I said, what did I say? She, you heard me. I heard that you saying I'm too old for her. I say, shit, you is. I say, you somebody granddaddy. She tell me, don't worry about what I am. She said, that's my woman. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't care if that's your woman. I tell her, listen, I had a first. And I'm not trying to be cocky or start no shit with this old ass man. But I had a first. 
If I wanted her, I would have kept her. I would have did right back. Instead, I played with her ass and sent her packing. It just is what it is. I say, you got my leftovers. Why are you trying to come over here all tough and shit? What it is is this bitch done put a battery in your back and you trying to prove a point to her like you still got it. But what point would you prove if I knock your old ass out? Not one. You know what I'm saying? I said, oh, man, listen, you get this little knock knee bitch, you know what I'm saying, up out my face and you don't got to worry about me. Fuck her and you. She, I just want to make sure you got this understanding. This is my woman. Bitch, fuck you and your woman. Come on, man. Like, gee, I've been here four hours. I don't give a fuck about that. You know, the bitch walked up to me. She walked up to me and started talking to me. You know, I didn't walk up to her. I just asked her why the fuck she was that, with that old ass man. Shit. I, I wanted to know why the fuck was she with that old ass man. You couldn't do no better. You know, it just is what it is. So motherfuckers get, behind, get up behind me. All my little crew like, man, go on here with that bullshit. Go on from over there. Go on from over there. She, all right, I'll catch you later. And going to look me up and down like I'm little. Bitch, I'll hit you in the back of your head make you have a seizure. Stop fucking playing with me. Have it go. Listen, that's how part of my first day uh, 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 ended. Listen, y'all be smooth. Stay tuned for Thursday. Time is winding down, bitch. Bye.